All right, we apologize for uh, keep interrupting, but we have some important weather information to pass along. First of all, a trained weather spotter in Floyd County has now spotted uh, several funnels in the cloud. No touchdown, but uh, funnel clouds passing overhead in the knobs in the vicinity of Galena, and this is moving toward the city of New Albany. Officially, no tornado warning for Floyd County or New Albany at this point. However, funnel clouds have now been sighted up in the knobs, and uh, this will be moving toward the city of New Albany within the next 10 minutes. Craig Edwards uh, has been talking with the police up in Scott County, Indiana, and you have some more information for uh, us, Craig. Confirmed touchdown of a tornado. This is uh, for uh, the area on uh, 256. Turn your, turn your mic on there, Craig. Okay. There you go. Now you can hear okay. me. Uh, confirmed touchdown of a tornado. This is west of Austin on Highway 256. Uh, this is uh, reported to us from Scott County uh, Sheriff's Department. Also, the uh, Vienna Township Volunteer Fire Department confirms this as well. So uh, both of those are confirming that there is a tornado on the ground west of Austin on Highway 256. Once again, that would be moving to the east-northeast. So those of you in Scott County, a uh, warning has not been officially issued as of... Go ahead and take cover at this time uh, because we have had confirmed reports of a tornado on the ground by the... Uh, uh, not only Scott County uh, Police okay. Department, but also well, from uh, of that Vienna. Again on that touchdown, Craig? It's Highway 256, just west of Austin, and that's uh, reported to us from the Vienna Township Volunteer Fire Department, as well as Scott County Police. Okay, that would take that storm. Then that would take that storm right through Austin into the New Frankfurt and the Hardy Lake area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, folks in uh, those portions of uh, Scott County, again, uh, we have no official tornado warning for Scott County yet. We just received this word from the police. I'm sure they're contacting the National Weather Service at this point, but as Craig had mentioned, uh, they, we now have a confirmed tornado touchdown in Scott County, Indiana, and that was uh, just a few minutes ago, just west of Austin. Also, funnel clouds aloft in Floyd County. No touchdowns in Floyd County. There's still a severe thunderstorm warning for Floyd County, but uh, funnel clouds there. And uh, Have you heard anything new on the Meade County uh, phone, Not anything tornado situation yet, there. But I'm noticing also that this uh, curve in the line we're getting along the radar right now, moving into parts of Meade and Breckenridge County right here. This is moving into the area close to Ekron, where we had some damage uh, from the uh, storm system uh, su uh, Saturday night and Sunday morning. So it, once again, it looks like uh, for you folks around Ekron and the central sections there toward Meade County and eastern Breckenridge County as well, uh, we're continuing to see that storm system move into that area. Once again, the warning continues for you as well. Uh, I think over the next couple of minutes, John, we're probably going to have something issued uh, for uh, Clark and Floyd, if not anything further than well, that we, warning we, we, we have Well, we right have now. the thunderstorm warning for right. Clark and Floyd, uh, but uh, no tornado warning at this point. And you were mentioning the bow here. You see right here, Meade County and the Breckenridge County, uh, right across there. Now, uh, notice top of your screen, uh, again, uh, the, uh, we've had no other confirmations of a touchdown in Greene County, downstate Kentucky, but that warning does remain in effect for another 10 minutes there. Northern Breckenridge and Meade counties, as you see in the top of the screen, that tornado warning in effect until 7:15. Uh, let's clear Hardensburg from that now. Brandenburg, your tornado, possible tornado, still heading toward Brandenburg. Uh, we'll go ahead and take Hardensburg off that though, because Hardensburg's right here, and the line of storms just past that. And this line of storms containing possible damaging winds, and also we've had uh, numerous reports of funnel clouds. Now just past Corridon, moving into the uh, right over the Lanesville area, into the Floyd's Knobs. It's east of Starlight now and uh, crossing the Clark State Forest around Henryville and then has pushed across. Well, we talked about the tornado touchdown in Scott County. That's now east of Scott County. That's moved into Jefferson County in Indiana. That's how that line is progressing at this point. And this will be moving into Jefferson County here within the next 15 minutes or so. Again, these are all severe thunderstorm warnings for Harrison right up through Scott here. Tornado warning for Meade and the extreme northeastern part of uh, Breckenridge County at this point. Uh, we have a new warning coming out of here in the background. Uh, Craig, anything to report there? Uh, we've got a new warning. This is coming in for Jefferson County, Indiana, and Scott County, Indiana. It is a tornado warning reported by the Scott County Sheriff's Department near Austin, 35 miles north of Louisville. Towns in the path, Hanover and Madison uh, for this storm. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you, well, you keep talking there. And I'm going to zoom in on this radar on okay. that tornado. In this the is Madison a uh, tornado warning for uh, Clark. Floyd Harrison County as well. Oh, so the tornado for those counties. It has been okay. issued for the uh, Clark County area, Floyd County, and Harrison County areas as well. Once now, again, are, this are, is we, a tornado are they confirming warning. any touchdowns for Floyd or Clark, or is it just the Scott County touchdown? So far, confirmed? that's the only touchdown that we have reported. Uh, Harrison County Dispatch has reported a tornado in Harrison County, however, so perhaps that is a visual sighting there. Severe thunderstorms stretch from Clark County into Harrison County, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Corridon, New Albany, and Clarksville in the path of this storm. 
And once again, tornado warning for Jefferson County, Indiana, up around the Madison area, and Scott County from that one from, uh, we, from the report we had just a few minutes ago from Austin, Indiana. Uh, these warnings effective until 7.30 Eastern Daylight Time for uh, all of these uh, counties. And once again, let me name them very quickly. Jefferson County, Indiana, Scott County, Clark County, Floyd County, and Harrison County, all under tornado warnings at this time. Okay, and that includes, that includes uh, so several big cities, uh, New Albany, Clarksville, Jeffersonville, Sellersburg. You need to take cover now. We've had funnel cloud side, and in a case like this where you have uh, a developing line of storms moving in, you never know when they're going to be touching down. So again, funnel clouds have been sighted. Clark, Floyd and Clark County, residents of these counties need to take cover now. Okay, want to zoom in on this uh, spot here. Let me get your bearing straight. Here's Louisville. We've got Clark County right here. And it doesn't look like much on the radar here, but uh, we've been getting some returns right in here of this tornado. Again, this is the one where we've had a tornado touchdown near Austin a little while ago. It's tracked into Jefferson County in Indiana. Hanover is about right here. There's Madison. So also, if you live in Jefferson County, Indiana, in the Hanover or Madison areas, you need to take cover at this point because we definitely have had a touchdown and some damage has been reported with this tornado across those counties. Again, officially for Floyd and Clark counties, no touchdowns reported, funnel clouds aloft. They may touch down, so a tornado warning has been issued. Craig, did you say that the warn tornado warning also includes Harrison County, right? It does include okay. Harrison County, Floyd County, Clark County, Harrison County, Jefferson County, Indiana, and also Scott County. So all of those counties now involved in a tornado warning uh, up until the uh, bottom of the hour. So we've got uh, at least another uh, 35 to uh, 36 minutes left under this warning. And once again, the only report that we have on a confirmation basis is from the uh, Scott County Sheriff's Department, where they're reporting a uh, tornado was uh, just west of Austin. Uh, that's about 35 miles north of Louisville, by the way, so these are certainly within the vicinity. You can see a close-up look at the radar right here. Once again, the flashing yellow that we're looking at are the gusty winds associated with uh, these storms moving through as the Doppler radar can start to pick them up. We're showing some very gusty winds north of Shelbyville as well. What do you got, Charles? Uh, we have a ham radio report of a touchdown of a in Grayson County. Oh, Grayson County. Grayson County, okay. Okay, that would be the Litchfield area. So, Craig, uh, you want to cover that on the next rad for just a second. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Let me show you very quickly about. where we're talking about here. With Grayson County, obviously the, the uh, storms have been moving to the east, and it's not showing a, a tremendous amount of activity in Grayson County as of yet, but this entire line that we've watched move through Breckenridge and Meade is pushing off to the east as well, moving into the uh, Harrison County, or into uh, Hardin County, rather. And as that continues to move to the east, we're beginning to get some development that seems to be taking yeah, place down in Grayson County through here. North edge, maybe the north edge of this storm uh -huh, here. This one here. That, that's a ham radio report. That's not, a, that's not an official warning there uh, on Grayson County, but a, a ham radio report. Charles, you have anything else for us here at this point? Uh, seven to ten injuries reported preliminary, but uh, where at now? In the uh, Grayson County oh, area, in, but oh. we don't. We have no okay. That. Okay. Well, evidently that storm has passed there. Um, you know, it very well may be this uh, section could have right been. here. Could have. We'll, we'll check on that, but uh, unconfirmed reports, 7 to 10 injuries in Grayson County from a tornado touchdown. All right, uh, let, me, let me go back here with the Doppler radar. We, again, we want to go in on the metro area here because we've had, we have tornado warnings uh, for Breckenridge and Meade County. And again, let's talk Brandenburg first. Here, right here, just south of Brandenburg, is uh, where radar is picking up a tornado. I've not heard from anybody from Meade County lately. Uh, we do not know if there's been a touchdown with this, but uh, Brandenburg and eastern Meade County are still under a tornado warning. Now, the line of storms, again, goes up through Lanesville. It's now moving through Floyd's Knobs into the city of New Albany, and also we have heavy storms in Jeffersonville. Here's another heavy storm up around Charlestown. We've had reports of funnel clouds, uh, and, and we're checking with the police. Uh, if, if you've heard of any uh, damage in those counties, uh, call our newsroom, 561-4150. Let us know about that. But we're